Hello once again and welcome to Cooking with Chief, as in Chief Spices, and also the Chief Chef, Brand Ambassador Jason Peru. So, Hi Carol. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Good. We're wonderful. So, what are we cooking today? We're going to be doing our curry crusted dolphin. Mm -hmm. We're going to drizzle a little bit of Chief Brand tamarind chutney on top. Good. Sounds good. So, lesson number one, write this down. Mm -hmm. We say dolphin in Barbados, and then we tell you mahi mahi. Is it a marketing thing? Well, it, it, is, it is more like an old time thing. We grew up calling it Dolphin, and then we saw that TV series Flipper. And yes. we realized, no, 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 a little too cute. That's not what we eat. <laughs> That's not what we eat. So, exactly. it, it, like Mahi Mahi or El Dorado. Some people call it um, El, El Dorado. By all means. So, I thought it would be fitting to actually utilize this fish today, being that we're in beautiful Barbados. And uh, this is the product of... Barbados. That's right. By it's, all means. One, one of our favorite, what we call steak fishes. Because, uh, steak fish, because you can actually fillet, mm -hmm. and cut it into pieces. So that, that's And that's exactly call. what we have here. Mm -hmm. So I have three fillets that are just minimally seasoned with some black pepper and salt. I always believe that the chief brand black pepper and salt yes. is a must, especially when seasoning fish. Basic. First layer. First of layer. Flavor. That's the first layer. Everything needs black pepper and salt. It just brings out the flair. So here's what I'm going to do, Carol. I have the oh. chief brand curry. I'm going to put one tablespoon mm -hmm. inside here. Okay. What's next? Give me the, the cumin, jira. please. Yeah. Cumin. In Trinidad, we call this a jira. Right. And you all call it cumin here, right? Oh, we read the package. We read the package. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we read the Just package. Like we read the package. Yeah. Now, the interesting thing is, once again, is that this is a great example of how you can use chief spices in what for you would be a non traditional way. Because when we see this, we go, oh, curry. Yeah. But you're actually going to make it into a rub then. By all means. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to happen here. Because, you know, when we think curry, we always think of it as being a braising dish. Cooking it in moist, in a moist environment. Yes. However, you could actually do a curry crusted fish. You could do curry crusted chicken. You could do curry crusted lobster, which is really good also. And I mean, it works very well. So this is just an alternate method of using the spices, which Chief is famous for, the yes. versatility of its spices. So we're adding now some fresh thyme. So we have again to recap, one tablespoon of Chief brand curry inside here, right. half tablespoon of cumin, Mr. jira. Jira. Right. And, and now you're going to add some. We're going to add a quarter of a tablespoon of saffron or turmeric. I can there. imagine what the color will you be like. You want to mix that up for me? Yeah, I'm going to mix this up. All right. And uh, what you saw me adding earlier were just some thyme leaves. Um, I believe in the floral expression, especially when cooking fish. Thyme and fish works very well together. Mm -hmm. So, by actually adding some beautiful freshly picked you thyme. You can smell it already. When you mm -hmm. see rubbed thyme, it's, it's amazing. So you can imagine these, all these flavors are going to marry very well Get with our fish. And also give the character of the fish a beautiful appearance. You yeah. agree with me, right? Color, for, for sure. And I mean, if you don't like thyme, rosemary works very well inside here. You're a Dill. rosemary fan? I like rosemary, but you would just use a lot less rosemary than you would thyme, correct? Cause yeah, because um, it tends to be a little stronger, yeah, very strong. pungent. So here we go there. So I would like you to spoon a little bit on my fish for me while I massage it on ever so passionately. Yeah. So I do the spooning and you do the massaging. So we're going to just apply just like that. Look at the color already. And that, comes, uh, that is attributed from the uh, turmeric that you mm -hmm. spoke about, all right? By all means. So we just have massages just like that, beautifully. Give me some on the next feeling. What if I didn't have Mahi Mahi, Dolphin, El Dorado, not Flipper? You know, I've actually, the first time I did this was with Atlantic Salmon. Okay. It's great. Um, obviously, you know, Atlantic Salmon cooks uh, very quickly, mm -hmm. so it will require a shorter cooking time. Lobster, as I mentioned earlier on, is amazing on this. Especially when you finish grill it, you add a little bit of a dollop of butter. butter. Yes. Carol, two of us, we should do a show together. Oh, wait, we are. <laughs> we are doing a show Because she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Thanks to Chief. <laughs> Thanks to Chief. Right, there we go. So, I think that's perfect there. You want to make sure these sides are covered. Covered, right. Generously. Do I have to leave this to what we call marinate? Or can I just go from this straight to the pan? I think you can go straight to the pan because okay. the spices here are so vivacious and strong mm -hmm. that there's no need for it to really sink in. Of course, if you want to, you can. But really and truly, this is cover it with some cling wrap, put it in the refrigerator. By all means, yeah. 15 minutes, probably go to read a book, come back, and mm -hmm. you should be good to go. So let me wash my hands wash up, hands. and then I'm going to start to pan sear these fish. Curry crusted dolphin, mahi mahi El Dorado, not flipper, coming right up.
At Chief, we put more in so you'll get more out of your cooking. Whether it's succulent baked fish or chicken, yummy pizza or creamy pasta, flavorful chow mein or tasty veggie dishes, the chief reason is always taste. And so we're cooking with Chief, Chief Spices, and with me is Chief Chef, Brand Ambassador for Chief Spices, Condiments and Other Food Products, Jason Peru. And what we're cooking up today is some curry crusted mahi-mahi, we call it dolphin. So we've got a hot pot, a hot pan. Hot pan, we have a hot pan on the stove. I have a little bit of a vegetable oil. Just regular vegetable Fresh, oil. Fresh regular vegetable oil. Just gonna add it inside there like that. It's a big pan, so the soup is here. Now, once again, when we fry fish, we have oil in the pan. Yeah. Inch or so. Remember, we don't this, need this. This is a pan searing right. method. It's not deep frying. Right. So we're just coating the pan. And even if you're doing shallow frying, it's mm. more oil than this. I'm trying Good. to make it a little more healthy conscious. Okay. All right. So my heat is on there. And what just I'm going coating. to do now is mm -hmm. take my fish. You just want to dust off the excess curry inside there. So it doesn't burn too much. By all means. Right. And then we're going to. And you know it's Gently good like when you hear that sizzle. You did a little sizzle. Yeah. Um, back home, we have a saying that says, if it goes, <laughs> it's something nice. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> but you don't want that here. You want it to be a little gentle. Because, because the steaks are kind of thick as well, so you want to have enough time so they cook. Because otherwise it's going to be burnt on the outside and raw yeah. in the center. You get where I'm coming from? Yeah. But then, again, you don't want it overcooked. By all means, because yeah. fish is something that dries up very quickly, as you would know. So you really got to understand the type of fish that you use. A fatty fish like tuna mm -hmm. or salmon has more fat content, so it stays a little more moist. But it tends to be a little more lean, correct? Correct. Yes. By it's way. smelling good already. Look at that. And you could see the beautiful color, color of mm -hmm. what's taking place inside there. So we'd say, what, three minutes on either side? I would probably suggest about three minutes on each side. And you want it to cook slowly. Because at the same time, curry granules, if they're not cooked properly, they could also hurt your stomach. Okay. So you want them to develop toast, develop that beautiful crust. Oh, smell it, it already. It is curry crusted fish. Yeah. So you got to think it. about that. So there you go. Smelling good. So let's take a little peek, Carol. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, right? You know, it's almost like the Caribbean's answer to blackened fish. That, like the Cajun yeah. style. Yes, Cajun style blackened fish. But ours is better. <laughs> I agree. Because we're using <laughs> cheap spices. So let, let's get on to the next aspect that we're doing here. Okay. Anything that has fish, I think, is very vibrant with a beautiful mm -hmm. salsa, especially pineapple Citrusy. fresh fruit. Citrusy. Yeah. So Freshness. I want you to help me make this up. Cool. Inside here, I have, a, I have a bowl. I have some diced bell peppers, mm -hmm. some diced pineapple, mm -hmm. and I also have some diced purple onions. Oh, nice. As you can see, it's very colorful. People always comment that our cuisine is so colorful in the Caribbean. Like that's are. what it come for. Yeah. We were very loud and sometimes most of us people, but that's what people love about us, nevertheless. So we're done here, right? Because this already smells good. <laughs> <laughs> you need to squeeze a little bit of orange inside there for me. Okay. You want to dress it with a little bit of citrus, a little bit of black pepper and salt. You could use a little bit of olive oil inside there, but I think... I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. I, think, I think the orange juice acts almost like... Because mm -hmm. it's so sweet and it marries so already pineapple, it sort of macerates the pineapple a little bit and brings out a little bit of the so, sweetness. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt, that cheap brand black pepper and salt inside there. Let me check on my fish. I know you're going, this is a lot of salt. My hands are small. Mm. There you go. Could I add a little bit of fresh scotch bonnet to this if I wanted some heat? By all means. Ah. Especially, um, uh, you see, in Trinidad and Tobago, and even some of my Bajan friends say they love the spice, they love the bell mm -hmm. peppers. And uh, they put scotch bonnet, they put habanero, ghost peppers, it's scorpion. Yeah. Have you heard about the scorpion? Scorpion pepper, pepper the hottest pepper, pepper in the world. world by all means. Right. Are you a pepper mouth? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, you know what? Later on, we could probably put a little bit of bell pepper, a little bit of hot pepper inside there for you. We can. By all means. We can. All right. You want to taste this? I could, if, I, if mangoes were in season. Oh, yes. Mango is really good. Yeah. Amazing. We make something in Trinidad called. Mango chow. Mango chow. Do you all do it here? No, we don't, but but we, we know about it from our Trini friends and relatives, so yeah, right. we love it too. So, what I'm going to do now is we finish up on this, probably has like you about a plate? minute and a mm -hmm. half, and we're going to plate it up. Cool. At Chief, we put more in, so you'll get more out of your cooking. Whether it's succulent baked fish or chicken, yummy pizza or creamy pasta, flavorful chow mein or tasty veggie dishes, the chief reason is always taste.
So today we took chief saffron powder, chief roasted jeera, and chief curry, and we made ah, curry, curry crusted, crusted fish. And, and the fish we chose was uh, mahi mahi, or as we call it in Barbados, dolphin. And uh, to pair with that, we then made, what are we going to call this? A pineapple, a pineapple and citrus salsa. Citrus salsa, salsa, yeah. Pineapple citrus salsa. It's so good. I mean, check this out. As you can see, this is color. Curry, color. You got the color from the turmeric inside there. Mm -hmm. You get the smell as well as the flavor from That's the curry right. inside there. And a little bit of the darkish color is a little bit of the cumin, mm -hmm. what we call the jeera inside yes. there. Three ingredients, three spices, very simple. And uh, we were speaking about putting thyme in it, which we did, just to give it a little bit of Fresh freshness. Mm -hmm. Of course, you could use rosemary inside there, whatever your heart desires. So, let's so we're this. crispy on the outside and we want to be moist and juicy on the inside. Correct, especially. And we've mentioned that we could use tuna, you could use salmon, salmon. you could use lobster, or even chicken breasts if you want to try oh, okay. it. Yeah, I mean, it really is great. Like thighs or even breasts, mm -hmm. very, very good. Now, this is your specialty. You're the plate and <sighs> master. That's why you're Chef Jason. Did I tell you that Jason also sings Chutney Soka? Yeah, I and do. He actually made it to the semi finals of the Chutney Soka competition during Carnival this, this year, year, 2016. It was, a, it was a, 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 actually a very good accomplishment. I was. Um, I would think so. I felt so proud of myself and I was like, wow. I felt like, you know, good encouragement, especially from um, the committee. And, like, they, they recognized that I was doing something very, very substantial within the culture and the music. Excellent. So, and, and you wrote. Your own lyrics I partially, and all that. I partially wrote it, so 50% of it was done mm -hmm. by myself and my writer, Kelvin. He soon did it. It's a song about food? It's a song about food. You gotta work with what you know it. I'm not gonna be singing about stealing someone else's wife. Because I, I, I don't do that. At least, at least not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't reached there yet. At least not on camera. <laughs> already, already, already. Salsa already. on top. Yeah. We're just making this look. You know, enchanting. Casual, enchanting, but still. Yeah. Well and this presented. is going to bring a little bit of vivacious flavor to it also. Mm -hmm. And freshness. Oh, yeah. There you go. And we have yeah. that famous chief, chief brand chutney. Tamarind chutney, that is. And I think tamarind works very well with uh, seafood. Mm -hmm. Shrimp, even in this yeah. case, mahi. Tart mahi. sweetness. Yeah. So we're just going to just a little bit of the wrong. Ah. Um, there's also a chutney from um, Chief Brand Products called Shalom Benny Chutney. Are you familiar with the herb Shalom Benny? Shalom Benny, yeah. It works. Here, we, we, the closest we will get to it will be cilantro. Cilantro, correct. All right, and uh, then we're just going to take a little bit of fresh parsley that I did earlier on and just to embellish it a little Another bit. layer of color, but also another layer of flavor, actually. And I mean, nice. simplistic. Easy beautiful. meal, beautiful, curry crusted, mahi mahi with our pineapple. Sweet citrus pepper, citrus salsa. salsa on top of it. And we have our chief brand, tamarind chutney, just to glaze it up and bring a little bit of pungency into the game. So it looks good, but now here's the real test. That's what it is all about, the tasting. So flaky on the, uh, crispy on the outside, and flaky moist and moist on the inside. inside. So let's go and see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Definitely. You know, nice I always I always say that um, when you see you bite into fish and you see that little glisten, yeah. it's almost like the fish is rude. It's like, hey bad boy. Alright, Jason, just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Mmm, <laughs> it's nice. Very good. Very nice. And tamarind, oh the pineapple is good on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's the pineapple and the natural, like the fish is oozing this natural little sauce mm -hmm. in it because it's so moist. And you get the essence, a little bit of the spices coming through the cumin, the curry, and the turmeric inside You know inside what's it. best of all for me? It's not screaming anything but goodness. So it's not screaming curry. Yeah, sometimes it seems to be a little, right. curry is a bit overwhelming. So yes. you have to use it in moderation. Right, and it's not screaming jeera. It's just coming together beautifully. And, that's and a, the that's salsa? That's a great concern with the yeah. cumin here. Yeah. The salsa brings it alive brings it up, in your yeah. mouth. Brings it a little Perfect. Bit and perfect because of cheap. You could, you think you could make this at home, Carol? It's very simple. Hello, hello, bad boy. Hello, bad boy. She's talking my language now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the re reason I asked her is because I implore everyone to try this recipe. It's very simple. It's just three or four ingredients that we made the crust with. That's right. Pan seared on both sides, three minutes on each side. And you got that sauce already from Chief Brand Products and that fresh pineapple salsa, which you could make, or even with mango, as Carol suggested. Mm -hmm. And you got a quick meal, probably less than five minutes. There you go. Yep, thanks to Chief. Thanks to Chief. So, 
You can check out this recipe, by all means, on the website. Now you can get it on the cooking channel, mm -hmm. and don't forget, then chief spices, condiments, and other food products are available from supermarkets all across the island. By all means. <laughs> Let's get to eating. You're, you seem a bit hungry. <laughs> <laughs>